Hello Avalonis, my name is Paul Pinto and welcome to another episode of Avalonia and the Drink. Today we're going to start a new series of episodes that we're going to try to port an application and web applications to Avalonia. We're going to use the templates from the creative team, this website, a free template, and we're going to see what is the options that we have in Avalonia to create these kind of application web applications. Right now, we're not going to use the, the Wasm uh, template to do this because there's a bug there. I will tell you about it later, but we're going to use the normal MVVM to, to create this application. As soon as this bug is solved, we're going to port this to the to the Wasm and you're going to try to mimic everything that this uh, this dashboard application does. We're going to try to mimic in the in the not in our Avalonia application. I already downloaded the template. It's already available on my on my computer, and this is a this is the look that we're gonna uh, try to achieve. This is the menu. There will be several uh, items, dashboard items, and we're gonna be able to click on the menus and open the several uh, pages. To have these icons that we have it here, we're gonna install these uh, material icons of Alonia. This is an open source project, very interesting. That we're gonna use the material design icons that is provided by Google. If you like these open source projects, please go to this web, to the to the link in the description, go to this project and start. I'm sure that the developers will uh, be very great for the, your support. Let's start. I already installed our NuGet package, already download, create the, the application that we're going to create, the, the, the MVVM application, and then we're going to start developing our application. The, we're going to take care essentially for the for the, the this menu the, the the left menu the sidebar menu that is what we're going to focus on this session and for that let's start to create here a uh, small read um, let's see with uh, some definition that will be I think that will be like this. Let's put it here. What? Uh, Step panel. And let's see what we want here. Um, before that, uh, yeah, there will be a start panel here, but uh, let's see, we're going to create here some styles that we want to have. Let's see what we want. We want initially is to put inside this on the position zero. Before this, we want to put a border that um, it will contain because we we want to have the 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 the, the box shadow, and for that we're gonna say that this border will be on the grid. Column equals zero. Um, vertical align. Uh, Stretch. And will be the horizontal. Let's put how, how we want it, our box shadow. Shadow. Let's see. We want to have five, five, and two. And the, what is going to be the color that we want? Uh, let's put. Let's start with the black. Let's see how it goes. And um, let's see uh, if we put. We're going to need to have some space around. Let's put a margin. If there is no errors on the with the with the naming, 
we'll be able to see our application. We're gonna have some errors, so we have some errors here. Uh, let's see what it is. It's a colored, colored, colored is not very well. Okay, let's try to restart the application. Okay, looks like it's, it, it is what we want. It is just too dark. Let's put another color. Um, I'm using the .NET Watch uh, I, to, to, to rebuild this. I'm not using directly the, the debug. But uh, let's put another color here. Let's put the gray. Let's see how it goes with the gray. Still too dark. Yeah, light gray. And let's see, let's sort of restart at this. Mm, I think it looks much better now and looks like the application that we want to mimic. Let's see how it goes with the application we want to mimic. Looks perfect what we want to do. I think it looks very well. Uh, this application is very uh, close to the to the border, but I think in our application we can give a little bit of space here around. I think it looks much better. In terms of the of the shadow, looks amazing. The, the 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 numbers that we that we choose are very good. Uh, usually I use these numbers for myself. This five five will be um, will be left and right and then up to uh, the direction of it. Um, I think this is looks very good. Usually I use these these numbers in my applications. That's why I know these numbers by heart. Okay. Uh, now that we have that. What about if we can create here uh, a control that just mimic this? Instead of having this in our application, we could create a control. Or we can leave it this way. Uh, let's leave it this way for now. Here inside, we want to have our content. And our content will have uh, the, the menu. And the menu, let's see. First, first, before the menu, you're going to put it here on top, the symbol of Avalonia and the uh, and name Avalonia. And for doing that, we have, uh, uh, they told me that we have a SVG. Uh, this will be the SVG that was downloaded. And let's break this a little bit just to see what we have. We have several, several parts, I think. I will expect that. Let's see. D. And then we have another part with several values. I think they will be able to know that. Okay, here's our field. And we finish our part. Second part will be three parts. This will be the last part. Okay. Um, we cannot load. Uh, there, there is a way. There's application that loads uh, the the. There's some uh, new get package that load this. We're not going to use them now. We're going to use a different way of loading SVGs to our application, and I was just going to show this other way of doing it. Then you can see you can use the anything that you'd like to have. What we have here, when I create even the assets, we're going to create a style. But because we don't, we need to have it. Uh, we're going to need to come here. Let's open here another. So the assets, and we're going to create the .NET new Avalonia assets. And then, and we're going to call icon. Styles, icon styles should be uh, no, not assets. Uh, style or styles. Let's say styles. And then our styles are created. You come here. You're gonna have it here. Our styles created. And I can go back to the old code. 
uh, because I'm using Visual Studio Code, I don't have the preview. Maybe one day when I have the uh, the extension, when I have the preview. Right now, I don't have it. Let's remove that. Let's remove this too, and let's put this guy to load in our uh, application. And to do that, we just copy this line here, and we're going to load Ruby. Uh, this will be for the name Avalonia.creativeTeam.dashboard uh, uh, Assets dot Let's call it, what is the name? Uh, uh, Azamo And there will be Icon Icon Let's not forget that I'm in Linux, and in Linux, this uh, everything is um, uh, case sensitive. We need to be very careful with the naming and just compiling to make sure that everything's still running, everything is loading the assets, everything is okay. Now let's start to build our assets, and we're going to build our assets. Say we're going to. Um, I used to have this because, for example, Sync Fusion, we have this Sync Fusion icon. I don't remember now the name. They will provide us the SVG of several icons. And then I use this. It's a very nice way of lower the SVGs to our applications. I just need to, to write it fast. Like that. that will be for the control. Uh, control. Uh, content control. Sorry. Content control. Control. Control dot and will be the this will be the accurate word of a linear um, icon style. And our style we're gonna have now a setter for the property uh, template. Um, let's close our setter. And inside what we're gonna have, it's simple. We're gonna have here the view box um, that will have the high. Let's put, come on, let's put here with a, uh, a binding, with a template binding. I have a new keyboard now and that's why I'm just writing how it's so so me so that equals and let's close our view box. And now we can put inside our view box our canvas. And close, 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 close. And inside our canvas, we can define it as much as you want. You can define here anything, but we're going to put the horizontal, horizontal alignment equals center. And for the vertical alignment equals center. And inside our here inside, we're gonna put our pads that we got in here. We don't need anything else. We just need our pads. So and even our pads, we're gonna change a little bit because not uh, this this property doesn't work here. And will be pad uh, with the capitalized P. Pet. And instead, instead of D, it's called data with data, and we have the field capitalized F. And now here, this one, um, we can ignore these ones. This will be data, and this will be field. And the same thing here, data field. 
and now we have our our icon let's see how it is icon uh, will work let's start it to put it here something that another property let's put here another setter two new setters just kind of default setter setter uh, it's always good to have this property setter property we take our value equals 32 let's put it let's imagine that get to be the default value if it nobody defines we're gonna have our high and our width at 32 it's always good to have that and now here in our application for example we can come here and put it for example a control uh, a content control let's put it here see content control with the classes equals Avalonia icon I think it was like that that I was defined it and let's just keep it seated with the default values let's see how it goes let's see if I did Avalonia icon let's just make sure it is the same and now let's just refresh our application we have an error here there is always uh, some errors sometimes that we have ah okay because uh, we're gonna need to have now uh, it's the view box it doesn't like it's a view box I think it doesn't like it because it's view box with a small b box with a small b uh, oh okay uh, because here we need to have a control template that's my mistake course doesn't start right away with uh, with the view box he was right you need to we need to have a control template but he didn't show our our icon let's see what is the problem for that we're going to be able to see here and make it kind of f12 here and try to debug it Let's see what is the problem. Probably doesn't even. Oh, the content is there, but for any reason, he doesn't like is the size. I'm for sure that the problem is about the size. And let's see if I have it here. The canvas. What is the size margin and what is the size design size? Height. Let's put here 32 and high 32. Let's see. Um, 32 32 okay we're gonna need to define it for our application to run then let's define it here let's put some number i think that you just need a number uh, 32 and i equals 32 and now we can run again our application let's see how it goes and here is our icon the way that we described uh, having just like i showed you having just as easy way if you just get something from the the the, the internet some kind of uh, um, uh, svg will be very easy to add to your application uh, using this uh, this this way um, there are some svg to to avalonia uh, packages Take a look to them, see what is uh, the best for you. Uh, I I like to use this, but you can use any anything that you can get it. Uh, if it is work for you, it work for you. Okay, let's continue here. The next thing will be we add a sorry, not that. Uh, the next thing will be to the text box next to this guy. Then what we have here, uh, we need to create here uh, inside this border a grid, a grid um, with some um, row definitions. Let's put that to be on the top. If you uh, let's see if you can see what I'm saying, we're gonna have this area on top, and we're gonna have this area here. Uh, it's true that we have a, yeah, a line, let's try to put the line too, like maybe this is another uh, line, to another item, another row. And let's, they need to create at least three rows, that the one is going to be this one, let's put the icon that we, that we create. 
the right of Alonia, and then we're gonna have the the the, 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 the menu, and this is to be the three items that I'm talking about, and let's do that, and that's why you need to create you know a, a row um, um, a grid. Let's put let's start it with five and start. Let's. I don't know if this is going to work this way, but we'll be. Let's put one other uh, pixels on top, five for the line, and then start for uh, all the rest of the, of, of, the, of, the, of the space. And let's put it here on this guy. It will be the the first one. It will be a step panel grid uh, grid point uh, row equals zero and. Orientations will be uh, vertical and the horizontal alignment. Let's put it in the center. Uh, uh, want to set it on, on vertical. We want we want it to be on the top uh, as much as possible. And now we have our stack panel. And now inside our stack panel, we want to put our content with our name, with our sorry, with our uh, image. Let's put it down a little bit. Uh, maybe we're gonna need to change the size, but let's see. And then we're gonna put here a text block uh, with the text. Um, uh, horizontal alignment center. This, otherwise, yeah, it's going to be very complicated. And vertical alignments. Let's see how it looks like in our page. Hmm. E didn't I put vertical. I, I thought it's wrong. It was my mistake. I forgot. It's the, I want to put the orientation that was to put it on the other side. Yeah, looks looks okay. This is precisely what I was expecting. Uh, maybe our page this, this is probably having some you know, small issue. Could be better center, but we're gonna leave it this for now. We can leave this situation. Okay, we create our our top part. Let's now create our the line on the grid dot row equal uh, one and the line let's see what the, i think it was a once gray uh, we can put a gray light gray uh, let's put gray um, the stroke equals gray the field equals gray the horizontal alignment equals center, the vertical. center. Uh, what more? Ah, we do have the start point. The line will be zero, 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 uh, call it zero. and the end point, end point it will be um, like it to, to, to stay more or less in the middle. And let's close the, the line and let's see how it looks like. Maybe it's too dark. Let's put with the light gray. Light gray. Hmm, no, it looks great. Okay, after this, we're going to create here now the uh, the menu, the menu. And to make the menu, we're going to create a, a folder, um, a new folder that we're going to call new 
folder even about controls and inside these controls, these controls you're gonna have some uh, uh, the menu item, the menu item and the menu item will be the, the running from let's see, I don't know what he's doing and from here we're gonna create here a class file that we're gonna call menu menu item and this menu item the problem about the menu item is that we want to be as a kind of a radio button but we want to 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 be able to see to be a toggle button at the same time it's a radio button style as a style of a toggle button why you need a toggle button that every time that we click we want to stay there and but we need to we want to have it uh, as a radio button anyway because we want to have only one item selected in the list and uh, only the radio button has that functionality if you have all the, uh, the 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 radio buttons in the same element in the same grid on the same in the same uh, stack panel or dock panel uh, dock panel uh, only one can be selected that's why we need a radio button but we want a radio button that looks like a toggle button then we want what you're going to do is a, a, a radio button so i don't know why but my shortcuts are not working And when this style of is what we're going to define, that's what precise what you want to say. That will be a type of styleable dot styleable key will be type of, and the type of that would be is the toggle uh, to to this toggle. Let's put the primitives behind. And now, this is what this is what is important. That's what we want to have. We're gonna have this as the toggle button, our radio, our radio button with two states: when it's called, clicked or not clicked. Another thing that we're gonna create it here, you can create right now, is to uh, when I have our uh, icon, and that icon will come from uh, using using material dot icons and this is we can use this guy and now creating our public static static quantity will be the kind uh, property equal Avalonic property dot register uh, item and will be the the, the, the material, material kind uh, icon kind this one and then will be to assign to our name of kind we don't have it yet we're going to create right our property drop uh, Material icon uh, kind we already have this will be kind and now here we're going to create our other guys the set will be material icon kind and will be get value of the kind it was written not well kind and here the kind property and semicolon and the set will be set set version set value of the uh, kind property value okay just another thing just to to not having a nose and so on another thing that we usually we could do is 
on the constructor of this menu item if if nobody is show anything or don't put anything we're gonna say and yeah, put some kind of kind equals uh, material uh, item kind dot and here we can choose anything let's choose i like the widgets let's do something generic this is how we create our our control in a very easy way let's now create it our uh, another asset let's see uh, we're going to create here another, another style and uh, this style now we're going to be a menu menu item styles perfect this is precisely what we want to have and now we have now our styles as a new style file we just style style this a little bit remove all of this we don't need that and add it to our xaml and here to our let's reduce this size here a little bit more space i can see and now we're gonna add it here the menu item menu item styles and here we have our styles now okay now we're going to style our uh, our menu item and let's start to create it one uh, in our in our uh, let's do this thing where we are here let's create it here initially let's put it i think that we, we can use the stack panel here but i think that the best thing that we have is to create not here so not here uh yeah this will be to create um a doc panel doc panel uh grid dot row equals two uh just close it already last child last child field true uh, this is what we want um, I don't think it's necessary but I'm going to put the vertical alignment vertical alignment will be stretch I don't know if we need to add that but we want to, to the dock panel to use all the available space that we're going to have and then inside we're going to have our control but for that we need to edit oops again style style this guy's a little bit Personally, I, I think that I prefer to have these guys like that. It's just a matter of purpose, nothing special. Anyone likes the way that they like. Uh, XML and yes. Controls equal using Babylonian uh, PAAT team dot dashboard. This dashboard or dashboard, dashboard slash controls slash controls and now here I can create inside my dock panel now by uh, controls uh, menu item and let's close it here what we're gonna have first of all this will be the dock panel dock Doc, uh, equal top because as you remember all the menus will be aligned to the top only the last one will be aligned to the bottom that's what we're going to do our content we're going to have it when the first one was called if i remember well let's see if i remember well it was uh, it's dashboard and with this uh, uh this this uh, this icon that is uh, the dashboard icon, new dashboard icon. Got it, dashboard, and the kind will be uh, dashboard view. I think it's view dashboard. View dashboard. Um, and we're going to create a, a style for that will be item it's 
two, we're gonna have that. And the first one is shaped equals two. Maybe we can just create it already the second one. That is the person, this is the account. I know that this is the account. And here will be, uh, I think it was called user profile. Let's see again. Uh, user profile. I know that was a company, I don't remember the name of the guy. Uh, here will be user account. And this will not be checked by default. And again, let's start it with these two and let's see how these guys work. And if we run this, let's put the watch to see if we have anything, if it shows. Now, right now it doesn't show anything because it doesn't like the... How is this? Enable the menu item from next space dashboard controls. It doesn't like this guy menu item from here. Why? Because his dashboard controls are belonging the best way is to use it and right here everything uh, oh i put okay i put the dash the dash it's supposed to be dot you see now we are ready we start to have already uh, 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 something now but we want to to style it this a little bit I don't need to put anything on the anything else than the content, like you saw, because the radio button already received that uh, the content as the content of the, what you're gonna write there. Then you just need to use that. Uh, it's not styled any way, shape, or form, and that's precisely what we're going to do next. And for that, now we're just going to create here our style selector, and this selector will be. Uh, the toggle um, button, the right one, button dot menu item style. We're gonna have you several styles, but we're gonna always start with the setter property. You can take plate. Center. And now, let's not forget that the, everything starts with the control template. That's what you forgot. And now, from here, what we want. First of all, as uh, you remember, let's take a look here. They have it a little bit of a, uh, has this color. I already removed, I already know what is this color is about. Uh, there will be all this space and see that it's more or less the same space that we have it here with the, with the size of the, 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 the bar the, the line there will be this space and it will be ground corner here it means that probably going to need to have a border around that we're going to uh, like the same way that we did it with the with the box shadow but now we're going to have it with the, with the uh, corner radius um, okay okay let's see Let's see what we can do. We're going to need to start it definitely with the border. With the border. Um, I, I don't know. I think 50 is a, is a good number like MPS. Core radius. Let's reduce. Let's start it with 8. Let's see how it goes. And from the back. Ground. Let's put it with it. Let's use it the one that's been played. Binding. Back. Ground. Border. Okay. And this will be our border. Then inside this guy, we will have two things. Two. I think I can say here. Yeah. Two. We have two things. Um, we're going to have the icon and we're going to have the, the content. And let's start to put it up here. 
she's in here exit now it is open Maybe not. We don't need to have our controls because everything will be based uh, on the I don't really need it up. The background. Okay. And now here inside our border, like I said, we're gonna have items and we're gonna have it here the material. But you like to have the kind, and this kind will have the binding uh, kinds, relative source equals relative source then related kind. I think I wrote it a bit too well. No errors. Uh, usually we use the template binding, but here we're not using the template binding uh, at all. We're not even reference because we are talking about the toggle button, and the kind is not defined on the, on the on the on the toggle button, but on the template parents. Uh, yeah. Sometimes if one if the one way doesn't work, we need to use the other and see uh, vertical. Alignment equals to center and for ground equals to here for example we're gonna use the template binding Let's put it here with a with a with a number uh, equals. Let's put a number and let's see how it goes. Okay. With this, let's see how it looks now. Again, we're gonna have something some error from the magic competition. I now I have the solution for the problem. Uh, the error clearly is misleading. There was nothing wrong with my CS approach. Uh, this unexpected token known was very strange. Uh, I will try to to to, to report this to, to see if the error is a little bit better. Uh, as you can see, uh, the error on the screen. Uh, if I build this, I'm gonna continue to have the error. You're gonna tell me that this unexpected token known on the line 16. But is the problem is where he giving me the error? He give me the error on the on the dashboard. And that, that's why I was looking for. Found it that the problem is at this line 16 is precisely regarding this line 16 on the on the on the XAML that I on the styles that I create. And the only thing that I need to have is close the brackets here. And if I close the brackets here, save it and compile it again, this will compile as expected. <sighs> and now let's go to run the watch and let's go again to the code 
to our code and menu items that we create they are there they are already lowered in the right symbol as expected and now we just need to add our content presenter for the content uh, I think maybe this Maybe I don't do you think that this is too big? Maybe not. Let's let's create a content presented anyway. Content, uh, content presenter. Let's close the tag and let's start. This is a lot of things to write here, but we're gonna do it as best as we can. Template finding back round close brackets. And close it. Let's just copy paste because we need to write a lot of them. We're gonna have the body brush. Brush. Border brush. We're gonna have the border thickness. Border thickness. I hope that in the end I don't have any, any spelling error here. Uh, next we do the content. content. We're going to have the content template. Maybe this one we don't need it. But let's pass it. Maybe you want to have it here, any kind of template for the content. Okay, we have everything that we needed here with the divas that the border can only have one item and we should have here the stack panel. Uh, this stack panel will be horizontal. horizontal. And the background will be the background template template it finding back right. don't forget the closing bracket background templated template templated template finding I this one is the template finding because I want I was copying up for this one template finding template finding template finding everything of template finding and the inside area when I have it here the closing on this time we're going to have now with no errors of course we have some errors because it, it doesn't like the border thickness because I write thickness it will not match let's open again it didn't like now the uh, 
Pansy. 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 Essa lição. Erros. This is the problem about writing everything. Everything. By hand. Looks more or less okay. It's still not perfect. This is not what we want to get this size. This is still not what we want. But it starts to work as expected. Okay. I think for our our um, button itself is it's done now we need to add more setters to set the, 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 the default setter for example equals Vertical content alignment, content alignment will be center, and the, the horizontal content alignment, the content alignment will be left. Then inside, inside content will be having will be left and will be centered on the on the on the other. Um, let's see more. Um, let's put by default our background as transparent. transparent. Okay. Our, by default, our foreground will be black. Um, black. And we can see if for any reason if there is anything we can see because this is not going to be common that we're gonna have and we don't want to have it our border thickness will be zero we don't want to have it okay now we have this all these defaults and now we're gonna set when we uh, check the button our gradient checked of the toggle button uh, what going to be the value of the properties? Center. What is it? Selector equals. Okay, it will be toggle button. Uh, because it will be all aligned to the menu like a class. And if it is shipped, uh, we want to have something special. What we want to have is checked. We want um, the, 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 the foreground, the, the set, the, what can I do? The style here. Yeah. That's what I want to do. This. Style set property. Background uh, value equal uh, when it's checked, we want the foreground to be light gray. If you see the, uh, the, the, the page, it's not totally white, it's a little bit, uh, sorry, not the background, sorry, before. Ground. I want to be light gray. It's not totally white, it's a little bit, it's a gray. It's a gray. And the background, I want to have this reddish color. And this reddish color, the number is F44. I like that. 336. 336. And this one is checked. When it's unchecked, what we want to have it 
unchecked we want to prefer that to be a little bit uh, uh, darker then will be gray and the color here will be now will be totally white okay 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 and the other thing that we have is when it's unchecked and the point over that is when you put the mouse there point, uh, point uh, over the pointer over we want the background to be let's see, we don't want to change anything here we just want the background to be f2 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 will be a light much lighter gray we might, it will continue to be gray but way lighter gray uh, if i don't have any spelling errors of course i have there is a uh, the line 46 style selected toggle button checked uh, let's see what it says here and able to find a setter uh, the style with the line 46 map foreground background did i wrote Yeah, precisely. These guys, I need to be out. It's a different style. That's the reason. It's here. That's it. That's the reason. Hey, I was right, right? Yeah, I was right. Watch. Oh, still have some mirror. The light gray. I wrote wrong here. Light gray. Light gray. Okay, and if I click here, oh, it is it, the end check didn't work as expected. The end check, the end check, because I didn't put it. The background foreground is missing something here. The end check. If I would have all the, the the items, this is how it look like with all the items. But I still don't know why it doesn't do the uncheck of this item. Ah, I know, I know, I know because I put it here. I coded here. Okay, okay. found it. It's a problem. Let's open all of this and now he has everything as expected as we see it in a, in a full screen with the with the, the objects and let's remove let's put this a little bit smaller too side by side let's put it all as you can see Maybe it's too white, maybe this light, light gray, maybe it's supposed to be white because it's too white, we have to see. But we have more or less the same uh, behavior that you know, we have it on the, on the creative team template. And now, next episode, we're gonna start working in the rest. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope that you learn how to create a menu. I hope that in the end of this set of episodes, you're gonna be able to replicate this uh, uh, JavaScript uh, Angular, I think it's Angular uh, template um, with Avalonia and show that with our Blazor template of Avalonia, you're gonna be able to create any, any application with no problem. And this application will be great because it's going to be able to run on the dashboard with no problem, with the native uh, elements. We're going to be able to run with through Skia uh, uh, in the web. And if you, even if you want, you're going to be able to run the same application too in the, in the devices like Android and iOS. Thank you very much. And I hope they like and I hope to see you next episode of Avalone and a Drink. At this time, with a black tea.